all you gotta do is give me that little bag of gummy bears. And he says, really? I love vegetables. <clears throat> Hello, Pastor Glenn here from Bethel Christian Assembly in Brandon, Manitoba, and just taking a couple seconds to share a few thoughts with you today. And uh, my thought today is lunchtime. Um, if you think back to elementary school, when you went to school and you had your backpack or you had your little cool lunch kit and you went to school and sometimes your thoughts were, hmm, I wonder what's going to be in my lunch kit. And other times you were like, wow. I know exactly what's in my lunch kit. I can't wait, but that bell would ring, right? And you'd rush to your desk or rush to your backpack or rush to wherever they put your stuff in and you'd open your lunch kit. And sometimes it was a surprise. You didn't know what you were getting. Sometimes you open it and you're like, yes, mom got me this or got me that or whatever, right? And other times you opened it and you're like, oh no. And immediately you start evaluating the trading value of what you have, how you can take that and make a deal with somebody else to get their animal crackers or whatever, that kind of stuff. So I doubt if it's ever happened to you, but uh, imagine you knew that your lunch kit was filled with vegetables and you knew there was carrots and cucumbers and beets and that kind of stuff. And you knew you had this friend who, uh, we'll call him Peter for sake of a name, and uh, he loves vegetables, but he's not really a big uh, candy snack fan or whatever, that kind of stuff. So he's got this little bag of gummy bears that has, you know, those little ones you get and you put in your pack. And if you're an adult and you're eating them, you have to eat like about six of them to get enough because there's only like five or six in there, but the kids get them a pack at school. Um, so you get to school and you've got these vegetables and you're like, hey, Peter, trade you everything that's in my lunch kit. There's vegetables and you love vegetables. Anything else that's in there, you can have it. All you gotta do is give me that little bag of gummy bears. And he says, really? I love vegetables. <clears throat> and so you make the trade and you're ripping the gummy bears open and eating and Peter grabs his lunch, lunch kit and is like, oh man, vegetables, tons of vegetables. I'm gonna open them up. And he opens it up and he pulls it out and he's like, hey, what's that? Hey. That wasn't a fair deal. What? You can't see that. There's beet seeds and there's cu carrot seeds and there's cucumber seeds. And uh, he's kind of like a little bit miffed that he gave up his gummy bears, which he didn't really like. And all he really got was all these seeds. So my thought for the day is this. Um, are these seeds beets, carrots, and cucumbers? Not really, right? Uh, can you eat these seeds? Probably could, but I think you'd still be wanting something to eat afterwards. Would you rather have one beet, one carrot, or one cucumber than all these seeds? If you're hungry, I'd probably say, yeah, give me the cucumber. I'll trade you all these seeds for that cucumber. Do these seeds have more immediate value or long-term value? I think the answer is definitely they have more long-term value. At home, the kids in Marina have been starting to plant seeds for the spring, and it was probably only three days ago they planted seeds in the sunroom, and Olivia came running in the house the other day, and she's like, the seeds are coming up, the seeds are coming up, and there's little sprouts coming up and that kind of thing. Um, where, where you've been given, where have you been given seeds today? Will you toss it out because it has no immediate value, or will you hang on to it and plant it? Will you plant your seed? And we can think of farmers going out and planting, but you can also think of the seeds of the words you speak, of the thoughts you think, of the actions that you do, of your money, where you invest it, of your resources, of your time, and all that kind of stuff. And one scripture verse, the Bible says this in Mark 4, 26 to 29. It says, this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters his seed on the ground. Night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and it grows. Though he does not know how, all by itself the soil produces grain. First the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel of head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it, and because the harvest, because the harvest has come. It's kind of an interesting thought, right? Most farmers and gardeners would take some time and mend their seeds and take care of their seeds. But if you take these carrot seeds and you throw them out into a place that's going to get some sunshine and some water, you can walk away for two months and come back and pull out a carrot. That's a pretty good investment. I'm going to end with one other story as I kind of finish off. Pastor Len, uh, hi Pastor Len Smith, if you're out there. 
who used to be one of the pastors here at Bethel, and we still, many of you that are watching this will know him, told the story once of an old pair of pants that he had laying around in the closet, and the pants had been there for a couple of years. They were just work pants. They were old and rugged and kind of messed up and holes and that kind of stuff. And he pulled them out of the closet one day, and when he pulled the pants out of the closet, he kind of put his hand in the, in the pocket, and he pulled out some seeds. He was like, hmm, I'm not even sure what kind of seeds those are. But he thought, ah, oh, it'd be interesting. These pants have been here for a couple of years, and they've, there's a, surely that seed's not going to grow. But he got some soil and some water and put it in some sunshine, planted the seed, and sure enough, the seed grew. And his point that I think is part of my point today, too, is that there is life in the seed. There's something in that seed that if we plant it, it'll grow into something more. And that becomes very true for our thoughts, for our attitudes, for our resources. Seeds are amazing things. It can be sitting here, nothing, 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 nothing. And then I plant it and it grows. So what seeds have God given you? What seeds can you plant today in your thoughts, in your relationships, in your health, in your workplace? So many things that we could talk about in the context of that, but that's just my quick thought for this day. And the little thought that I want to leave you with is just there's life in the seed. So I just pray God's blessing upon you and God's wisdom and just uh, pray that your day is filled with sunshine and rain that will help you grow. Amen.